What does it mean to be an organism? Well, in pondering this question, I took a look in the dictionary and the best I could get was that an organism represents a whole likened to a living being with individual parts that constitute that whole. Now, the common convention is that an organism is something that we can see pretty easily and all understand like a human being or an insect or a bird, etc. But if we look at organism based on its definition, an organism can also be something like a hive of bees, which is a living entity with the bees constituting the individual parts. So if an organism can be defined not only by its individual entity, but as a group entity, as the hive of bees, then what word could be used to describe the nature of being an organism and what does the nature of being an organism constitute in the first place? I feel like the best way to describe this would be to use an analogy. Humanity. When you think of the term humanity, you think of humans cooperating and getting along. Well, we can ultimately think of organismality the same way. Organismality is based upon the cooperation of not only groups and individual entities in a hive, as I've used with the example of bees, but on the cellular level. That's how organisms have evolved in the first place. Just look at it this way. How would we be able to evolve if our cells were all selfish and didn't help each other? There would be no such thing as a human being because no such complex individual or entity could be created without the cooperation of cells at an individual level. And therein lies the idea behind organismality. Organismality is all based upon the cooperation of organisms so that greater and more complex entities can come about. A great example of organismality that you can look around and see every day, if you live in this kind of area, is a city. A city is a lot like a human beehive. Without the cooperation of all the members of the city and the commerce in general, the city wouldn't operate and it wouldn't exist as an entity. We can only live on such a complex level and have a society as such because we cooperate. Dr. Joan Straussman recently expanded on this in a paper about organismality, saying that the only way that organisms have ever evolved to the level that they have now and exhibit the complexity that they do is because there's been no conflict between individual agents in that entity. The approach taken to observe conflict, or the lack thereof, between organisms which allow for the expansion of organismality, for organisms to become more complex over time, is a relatively new facet of biology. For as far back as organisms have been defined, or characterized, or categorized, biologists have disagreed with the characteristics that an organism should have, or maintain, or be defined by. So instead of defining an organism based on concrete scientific constructs, it's a lot easier for those that aren't familiar with biology to use the term organismality to understand organisms and their relationships and how they come about. If the relationship between organisms involves no conflict and provides an adaptive advantage over time when they are cooperating, then this system of operation or cooperation may actually provide a permanent solution for these organisms to then work in a system which would make them a grander organism because they are producing a result as a result of each other working together. And I think the most appropriate thing I could do would be leave you with another analogy. Consider highway systems. A highway system is a lot like a system of blood vessels in our body. Without blood vessels circulating blood and oxygen-rich blood cells to our tissues, our tissues wouldn't be able to survive and operate properly. This is the same principle as a highway. Without people coming together to put these highways together and to maintain them, then the rest of the society or the rest of the entity, the organism, the city, would not be able to operate at the level it does. You wouldn't be able to get to work as quickly. So if you ever again wonder about what constitutes an organism, don't limit it to just a body that you can see or something that is visible, that looks alive. Consider the principle of cooperation and conflict. How would we have ever gotten to the point we did and have such a society and operate at the level we do if not for cooperation and a lack of conflict?